Coach Tim Mills, uh, Coach, you graduated eight seniors last year, um, five seniors this year. How do you feel like the girls have meshed so far in practice and kind of getting into the swing of things? Well, I think uh, a great many of them played club together. Um, and so, and they've played together. Uh, most of this group played JV together last year. Uh, have five seniors coming back. But none of the five seniors have a lot of varsity time. I think Z, Z probably was the only one that was strictly a varsity player. I don't think even uh, Risa, I think she was playing JV early in the year. And, and so the group played together a lot. They know each other really well. Um, and we also did a, a lot this summer. We set up a league here and, and we had teams come in. So we actually got to play quite a bit this summer. And um, so I don't, I don't think that was a big deal. I think they, they, they're pretty tight knit, and it's a T-town, so they all work hard. I mean, it's just a given. The T-town kids come to work hard. They, they expect, uh, they expect to come to practice and work hard and compete. And uh, so I think they've done that. So I don't know that I had to work too hard to mesh them together. Um, now, once they get on the court, that's a different thing. I mean, it's figuring out how to get six kids to play as one. You know, of all the players right now on varsity, who has stood out to you the most? I think that's probably. Really easy, um, Risa. Not because she's necessarily the best player in the group, because uh, uh, we get some really good athletes in the varsity group. But the thing I like about Risa, and the thing I, I like, it's kind of funny because she was, um, so all these seniors were freshmen when we, our last year here, Sue and I. And Sue coached this group of seniors as freshmen. And Risa really, at that point, um, she was just so aggressive on the floor. You really knew that back then that it was something special. I haven't really watched them a lot the last couple of years. We came to a few games. But I think the most impressive thing I saw all summer and even here early in the year is just how much she moves on the floor, how much noise she makes. Um, when she and, and she missed some games during the summer because obviously there's a lot of things going on in the summer. And the nights that she was here, our defense clicked so well. And then... And when she was not here, we were definitely missing her. So she left a big hole when she wasn't here. So I think that's pretty easy. Um, there's a lot of really talented kids, um, but I'm really impressed with, with just how aggressive Risa is on the floor and how hard she works. Um, I just work my hardest. I try to lead by example, showing that I'm going maximum effort and they all should too. With you being back at the little barrel position, what are the biggest obstacles that you face the most? Um, just making sure my team is set up on defense and doing what they're supposed to be doing, getting to their correct spot to receive the attack. How much do you feel like in one year you've improved? Uh, I think I improved really a lot, especially over club. I got in those extra reps. I think I'm getting better at reading the hitter and knowing where the ball is going to start going. <laughs> You have four sophomores playing varsity. Um, Kaylee and Elise, of course, are big names. You call Kaylee one of the best setters on the team, if not the best. You call Elise one of the best kills, but she, her fundamentals are so key. How incredible do you think their transition from from freshmen to sophomores has been? Well, um, they have played together before, and that group, the group of sophomores, played a lot of a lot last year as freshmen. I mean, I, I, in talking to Nicole they had a lot of court time together. So they played together a lot. So that transition is pretty easy. The speed of the game is different. Um, big change from JV to varsity as far as the speed of the game. Um, but they're just, they're really talented and they they played a lot of volleyball. Um, I know they played club together. Um, setters and hitters, um, really need that familiarity that you get from repeated time in the practice. And I think that's where Kaylee and, and Elise have worked together um, well. They've just had a lot of court time. And so their timing is really good. They work re really well together as a good tandem. And it's not, a, it's not a little thing to be a sophomore and to be on the varsity. That's a, that's a big thing, really. And um, like it's just a, kind of a testament how hard they've worked getting here. Um, but they're very talented. Those four girls are really talented. Kaylee and Elise, you are both sophomores playing varsity. What does that mean to you? Um, it means a lot. 
but we put in a lot of hard work at practice and it's a big accomplishment for just both of us. Um, yeah, at club too, we learned a lot of techniques and we brought them over to the varsity so we could all learn it and become a better team. Um, what we learned most is just adjusting to their tempo, like Clarice's passes are pretty quick, Liv's passes, just getting with their tempo and it just makes us better as a team. Um, when we make mistakes on the floor, they would encourage us and that courage makes us better on the floor and games. <laughs> How much responsibility do you feel knowing that your underclassmen taking on a big responsibility at the varsity level? There is definitely a lot of responsibility, but the seniors are really encouraging and it's really encouraging to us. Yeah, and I remember being a freshman and being scared to play in front of all the varsity level, but I hope that I can encourage the freshmen this year. Who has stood out to you the most in practice? Um, I think Sarah Zimbal, and she's always happy. She's always excited to play. She's cheering on her teammates and her hitting has improved a lot this season. Um, I would say as a leader, especially being a senior, just letting them know what's going on on the other side of the court, always telling them what they're running as a set or two also it helps to just let your hitters know what they're running, what the play is on the free ball, so I would say that's just what helps. Um, I would say I improved a lot since my junior year, especially playing club um, on my off season. I feel like I've improved a lot, not only with my skills, but with communicating with my club coach from my previous from my junior year was really big on communication. I feel like I got a lot better at that from last year, but I also feel like my hitting and blocking got a lot stronger as well. Of the freshmen that are moving up into the JV level, um, and then when they play varsity, who has stood out to you the most? I don't know. It's really tough. I know all those freshmen are really good because I just coached them as eighth graders. It's a really special group. We we got we were in the elite eight, um, had a bad night, and got eliminated, um, which I think every coach would say that. You know, you lose the last game of the year. Most teams do. Um, so that freshman group is really special. I think the worst part of them is they're, they're behind this group of sophomores. And um, there's 14, 15 freshmen, 14 sophomores, I believe is the number. And uh, so the first worst thing for these freshmen is they're going to follow these sophomores for the next three years. But um, there are three of them that are going to address JV. I'm, I'm really woefully short of middles at the JV. And so it's a pretty easy to move Allison into that role. Allison... Um, Elsa Niemer who's really, really did a great job last year in eighth grade, um, has a great attitude and work ethic. Finding out that JV moves a little faster, so getting her caught up with that um, will be key. And then um, Ella Willenberg is really talented. Um, Ella, Ella was probably our best passer at the eighth grade level last year. And uh, I felt like she'd really fit in well with the JV group. And then Emma Isley um, has been a setter. We're going to have her play a little bit outside at the JV level. Um, want her to kind of learn the game from a different perspective. And um, so the three freshmen that are on the JV are there because of the potential that I see, but they still have a lot of work to do to get a lot of, to get much court time at the JV level. I guess from my perspective, what I'm what I've asked Z to do is to lead the offense, which means really talking, communicating with the hitters, um, sharing ideas in practice, <clears throat> trying to encourage the hitters to be creative. Um, and she's really bought into that in a great way. Um, I think her and Kaylee make a real, real nice tandem in that they're, they both know how to set. We're, we're really working hard in practice to give them lots of reps so that when they do contact the ball, we'll get some consistency. And I think we're gaining on that ground. But um, Sarah's played a lot of volleyball. Like I said, she's, she is your returning varsity player. I don't know if she led her last year, honestly. I would assume she did. So she has the most court time as a varsity player. 
she understands the game as a varsity player. And so um, she has the experience that you want for leadership. Now the key is, you know, how she turns that around, how she, how she puts that on the floor. And I think she will. She's shown that in practice. Um, I, give the, I give the kids a lot of headway. I'm not on the floor. They are. I'm the coach, but I'm on the bench. So you want the kids on the floor being creative. We want them talking to each other in between plays, during plays, um, making adjustments as the game goes. And then on the offensive side, that, that really has to be Z. She's the one who really has to, to lead that and run that. Coach Mills calls you one of the best setters on this team. What's that mean to you as a senior? Uh, it means a lot, it really does, especially coming from Tim because he knows a lot of volleyball and he's coached a lot of girls. And for him to say that really means a lot to me and it makes me want to keep pushing. You have three middles, Katie Horn as a junior, you have Megan Bremer as a senior, and you have Elise, and they all three bring something different to the team. Um, like I said, Elise brings the speed. Um, Megan probably has, has a little more experience because she's a senior, and um, Katie's kind of the dark horse in this. I don't, I don't really know what she did last year, but I think we have three pretty good middles, and they're all different. Kaylee, Coach Mills calls you the best setter on this team along with Sarah. What's that mean to you? Yeah, it's definitely a big accomplishment and it means a lot to me that he said that. But it's not just me and I need my passers to get there, Clarissa and Liv, my hitters, Paige and Megan, Elise, hitting just quicks and Sarah on the right side. And they just help me get to be the best setter that I can be. I cannot be my best without Clarissa and Liv making really good passes to the setter and Kaylee and Sarah setting it to me in order for me to get a really good kill. Um, I would say that the one really special thing about our team this year is that there are so many underclassmen and they're all so good. We have a lot of sophomores that are hitting and blocking very, very well and I think that's really special. You don't see a lot of high schools have that. Most of them are upperclassmen who've been playing for the past four years. But I would say our sophomores and our underclassmen are doing a very good job and that makes us really special. Um, I would definitely say there are a lot of girls who have stood out to me this year. But one of them being um, Gabby, she is a very, very strong hitter and a blocker, especially for just being a sophomore. And she can also pass or receive very, very well. Elise Pals has also gotten really, really good on her blocking and she knows how to run fast tempo sets and it helps whenever you're on the varsity level and you can do those things. Um, I think we have a really strong passing team. We have a deep roster. We have several seniors that are seasoned passers and several good underclassmen too. Schedule hasn't changed too much since I left, um, but Effingham was pretty good last year, so obviously you got Effingham to deal with. Um, Payne and Newton, have they ever been bad? Have they ever not had a good season? I mean, those are the teams that I can tell you right off the top of my head. Um, we're going to play eight matches in the first week, and um, culminating Saturday and going down to Fairfield and playing the tournament. And uh, if I remember right, uh, we got a pretty good butt whooping from Fairfield uh, to end the season last year. Now they graduated their big hitter, but Chad always brings the group to play. So right off the bat, um, you're gonna uh, you're gonna have to get through a Fairfield team. So those are the ones that come to mind first. I'm a little disappointed we're not in the Crossroads tournament this year. I really liked that tournament. I already talked to Derek about trying to get us back into that because uh, I mean you're. Playing 3A, 4A schools there. We like to play. It's T Town. You play good teams. I mean, you look at the basketball, the baseball, whatever sport you choose at T Town, the, the schedule always has teeth in it. And so um, there's a few teams out there that we know. Um, you can, um, when you play a Newton, if you play your A game, you should expect to win. But if you play your B plus game, <laughs> you know, it, Newton sees blood on the water, they find a weakness to exploit. So you run into a point where you need to go play because it's hard to stay focused every day. You know, you come to practice you're two weeks in and, and so you're, you're doing repetitions in practice. We do something similar every day. And at some point in time, you need to go play for a couple reasons. Um, maybe from a coach's perspective, the most important reason is um, they need to understand they're not as good as they, as they you know. It, it's not going to be easy. You're going to go play someone else. It's not the JV. It's not, they're not serving lollipops at you. The other team is wanting to beat you. And a lot of times, you know, in it, no matter how competitive you try to make practice, 
is still practice. And so uh, we're at a point right now where we have three days, three practices left. Um, we did some different things today trying to make it competitive, but, it's, but we definitely need to play. We're ready to, we're ready to see someone else and um, we're, ready to, we're ready to get out there on the floor where the other team's really pushing us. Um, we need it, we're at the point where we need the competition right now. I think there's a world of potential here. They're very talented. They do all the things individually that you want to do. Now the key is, can we teach them how to play together? Can they, uh, can they compete without shooting themselves in the foot? And uh, I think they have a really high ceiling. Um, you have two good setters. You have a really good libero. You got five, maybe six kids who can, who can terminate an attack. Um, I've coached high school volleyball for a long time. I can tell you that I've, I've never had a season where I had four or five terminators. Right. I've had two terminators and maybe two and a half or three, but to have, uh, to have four or five kids that can you know, get a good set, they can make a balance. That's, that's not normal in high school. So, and again, you're, 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 you have four sophomores and uh, so at some point in time, our youth will bite us. The, um, the key will be what we dress and practice today is doing good things in a row. So the key will be when we do a bunch of bad things in a row, they don't have any experience in pulling themselves out of that. So the season will be gaining uh, experience in that when it goes bad, finding a way to ride the ship. Someone on the floor stepping up, being the leader, whether that's Z or whoever, and uh, getting us straight when we run into a brick wall. I'm really looking forward to what they can accomplish. And I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get started, ready for some competition. I would say definitely being strong offensively and defensively, defensively. And I do think we have a really good opportunity at going far in our pro season, especially because we have a lot of great defensive players. We have Clarissa, who's coming back from his junior year. And then, like I said earlier, we have a lot of great players who are hitting really, really good, and a lot of them happen to be underclassmen, so as they progress into their junior and senior year, I can only imagine what they're going to do then. But I do think that we have a lot of great talent on this team. I think it's because it's a whole new roster. Last year it was mainly seniors playing, and then they graduated, so it's a lot of just exploring and finding out what everyone's capable of. Uh, communication is very key when it comes to volleyball, and I feel like our team is very good at communicating. And even when the play breaks, we can still communicate and work our way through it. Another key thing is just keeping energy. Like, if we're losing or we're down, not to get in our heads, like, get in a circle, high five, encourage people. And I think we have a lot of that this year. What's most exciting is really just the bond that we have on this team. I feel like we're a special group and we'll do pretty good this season. Uh, we also all hang out off the court, you know, as friends, and I feel like that makes us more of a family than a team. Um, coach Mills is a definitely a very, very great coach. He knows what he's doing. He's coached a lot of volleyball and um, a lot of club volleyball. So he does a good job of running drills and telling you what to fix after you make a play that wasn't a good idea. He tells you what to fix on that. And he also does a really good job of including scrimmaging into our practices and running plays. And he's very great about letting us run high tempo stuff and making us work on it so that way we're ready for a game situation and we can run those high tempo sets and we're not rush we don't know what we're doing because we're practicing a lot uh, we have a lot of fun at practice you know he's pretty funny he makes us laugh yeah we can have a good laugh but he also knows when to push us to do our best like to be serious and game like drills and I just want to say another thing that really helps us is Sue and Nicole and especially Nick helping out on the side with like hitters just on, working on their swing and their approach four you want more go balls up I like that. Two times a day. Four. I blocked you to be. We're going to work right side, right side. So it's all the balls. They're going to catch you and they're going to hit it. You have time. What would be your goal for your senior year? Uh, personally, I would like to break my own record again. That would be really awesome. I would say just seeing how we all play together. I mean, in practice, we've seen that we can play really, really great together. So I would like to see how we can do with the um, opposing team and a crowd. So I would like to see, and I'm very excited to see how we play. The expectation is that you win games. 
but the expectation is you win games in the postseason. So um, we came here. This will be um, this will be Sue and I are starting our ninth year at T Town, and um, we felt like all along the potential was here to win lots of games in postseason, and we really haven't. We've won one regional, and so the. I think this team's accomplishment is a potential has the potential to go beyond that, but that'll be the key. I mean, to be really disappointed and we win thirty games, you know, thirty and five would be an amazing season. But if we bowed out without a regional, without a sectional, without a super sectional, it'd be a pretty disappointing season. Somewhere down the line, you don't you you want the kids to win. You'd be excited for the kids to have a great season, but but boy, it'd be disappointing if they didn't make a deep run in the postseason. Biggest challenge for you knowing that you're a coach again, took a couple years off, and now you're back into it? Um, they don't know me, so we've spent the summer trying to get to know each other. I didn't know any of the girls. Um, I told you we set up a summer, we set up a league, and we, um, Lainey Jackson came in and ran the league, and we hosted here, and so we got to play some pretty good teams. And um, honestly, it was low key. Um, I had 15 or 16 girls that we rostered to play. We rotated kids. I was more interested in seeing who they were because I didn't know them. I mean, obviously, I knew the seniors by name because I, I had them as freshmen, but I didn't know who they were. So, and they didn't know they didn't know me, and they didn't know what to expect. And uh, so we spent the last couple few months learning who each other is, and now since we've started practicing for real the last two weeks. Um, now it's a matter of them understanding that I'm going to be pretty intense. I'm going to push pretty hard. I'm pretty laid back. I've mellowed a lot in my old age, but uh, I still like to win. And I think that's, uh, um, that's really important. But it's also really important that they, uh, they trust me that, that I'm... Uh, teaching them I'm leading the right leading them in the right direction and so I hope we've done that that's been my goal um, I was enjoying retirement so uh, but this looks like it's a really special group and so when I got the opportunity to jump back in and work with them I was, I was excited for the opportunity we wish you, we wish you the best of luck this year and uh, we'll see what happens in postseason well I appreciate it I'm glad that you came and we had an opportunity to do this and um, I, I think it's going to be a blast, and uh, so we like to fill the gym up and get people to come watch. Um, you've been to a couple practices, so you know how much fun they can be. Um, they uh, they can be really exciting. Great team to watch play.